A few months ago, I was watching golf videos on YouTube and I stumbled into the world of Stack and Tilt. Wow, what is this place? Now, Stack and Tilt is quite a divisive topic in golf, so some people swear by it and say it's the easiest way to get a simple, repeatable golf swing. And some people think it's the worst thing ever and that it's this kind of forbidden elephant graveyard where golf swings go to die. You must never go there, Simba. Watching the videos, it seemed like it might solve a lot of the problems I was having with my own swing. So like swaying off it too much and hitting behind the ball a lot. So yeah, I was intrigued. So I gave it a try on the range a couple of times and absolutely ripped it. Oh wow, that's nice. Oh, hit it better. Oh wow, and that was just pure. We've all been either straight or little draws. Having it a single like wafty push fade, which I'm a bit prone to. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds so pure. I just don't think I can hear it better than that. Oh wow. That was unreal. Oh. I can't hear it better than that. Good. Obviously I couldn't wait to try it out on the course, but unfortunately the first chance that I had, the conditions weren't exactly ideal. Still, I shot a 9 over 81, which wasn't bad considering the conditions and some pretty ropey putting. Oh, so Since then, I've used Stack and Tilt a bit on the range, but when I've been playing, I've been experimenting with trying to think about as little as possible because a few people that know an awful lot more than me suggested that that is the best way to go about playing golf. But that's left me in a bit of a no man's land when it comes to stack and tilt. I feel like I haven't given it enough of a go to decide if it's something that I actually want to stick with long term or not. So today I'm going to go out on the golf course at Royal North Devon and give it a proper go and I'm hoping that this round will help me make that decision of whether I'm going to stick with stack and tilt and go fully in on it or leave it and move on to a different way of trying to swing the golf club. I'm desperate, I'll try anything, come on. Crazy pull draw. Not quite sure where that came from. That was a massive pull draw, like probably 40 yards offline. Luckily, I was just hitting a layup, so I think it's still fine, but yeah, a bit weird. <laughs> Bloody size of that. Pretty small divot. Well, hit the fairway, hit the green, and two putted for a par. So if we ignore the fact that I hit my second shot about 30 yards offline and almost lipped out from two feet from my par, that was a good hole. Always look on the bright side of life. Right, I don't think I've ever hit a better tee shot up this hole. Literally split the fairway. It's a hard driving hole, you can't afford to go left or right. I'll show you. If you go right, there's then bushes and there's a ditch. Left, more bushes, little ditch. But yeah, middle of the fairway, come on.
it's thin as, but it's worked out really good. Pitch pretty close. That was very good. That was an absolute bomb. I mean, it's a bit downwind, but still it's gone 330 yards and it is winter. It's not exactly warm. It's got a little flick in. I thought that was gonna be stiff and somehow it's gone over the back of the green. Oh, gutted. That part was just one of those weak ones where I just opened the face a little bit and I'm a bit tentative with it, but yeah, I was a long way away after my approach, but it would have been nice to tidy that up and make another par, but I've hit a good drive down here. Should be quite a short shot in, so let's try and stick one close. Famous last words. All right, par three, back up the hill, bunker's short. Just reading too much into putt. <sighs> Why is it raining? It's meant to be sunny. Last time I tried this stack and tilt thing on the golf course, it kept raining despite the fact there was no rain forecast. Today there was no rain forecast. What's this? Why does stack and tilt make it rain? I'll do my best. wounded about that. I thought I'd hit a good drive but I've caught this massive bunker so all I can do is flush it out. Oh so far left. 
So, found another bunker. This one is GUR. This is seriously bleak. Just want to show you something. What's that? Precipitation. No, less than a 5% chance of that. No rain today. Just painful to watch. No thanks, I've had enough of this. Absolutely soaked. I didn't actually think that going out today was necessarily going to provide me with a concrete conclusion on this stack and tilt experiment, but actually it has. Um, there's kind of two ways of looking at it. You could say that like I hit a lot of decent shots and you know really if my putting had been decent I might have scored all right, but yeah my ultimate conclusion is that it just doesn't quite feel right. It feels too unusual and unnatural compared to like when I think of how my swing has felt when it's felt really good, it just feels too different to that. And like things are a bit at odds, like keeping all my weight on the left, but trying to make a turn. And I don't know, like obviously stack and tilt works for people. I get that. It's probably that there's parts of it that I'm not quite doing right. But yeah, I've basically decided that whilst clearly I do benefit from certain parts of it, which is probably I need to incorporate into like whatever swing I'm gonna have going forward, as in, you know, getting more weight onto my left at impact to stop me hitting like behind it all the time. Um, yeah, despite the fact that I need bits of it, the full stack and tilt thing is not gonna be my swing going forward. So yeah, that's been an interesting, useful experiment. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I've got that conclusion now. Where are your clothes? Put, put, put some clothes on. Soaking in the rain, all that's falling down.